So, cast is off. Got some mobility. Got to build up some strength. Make sure it's good to go. We'll be sending it soon, but I was just tuning the carb on this and I figured I'd record it to show you the difference of like when the motor is too lean. The most common issue I see is people, uh, their motor doesn't idle good um, or it's hard to start and that's because you need to adjust the low needle on the carburetor more than likely. It could also be a bad spark plug, a whole bunch of other issues, but really just turning the low needle a tiny little bit will fix most of your problems. So let me show you where that needle is exactly. All right, so this screw here, this one right here, which you gotta reach from the other side, you gotta come in from this angle and adjust it right there. That is your idle speed screw. If your motor idles too low, you turn this one clockwise. If it idles too quickly, you need to turn this counterclockwise. But if your motor constantly dies at idle or if it idles very rough, then you need to adjust this screw here. Not the one with the red cap, that's your high needle that's sealed from uh, Vitarazzi from the factory. This lower needle, this low one, is the one that is your idle mixture screw or your low mixture screw. If your motor is too rich, then you need to turn this clockwise. If it's too lean, you turn this counterclockwise. And uh, I'm going to do a couple runs here and show you what too rich looks like on the low needle, and then I'll show you what too lean looks like on the low needle. Don't judge me for ground starting. I'm doing it with a, a wall behind me so that if the motor goes full throttle, I can brace myself against the wall and the motor and keep it off me. This is with a low needle slightly too rich. Throttle closes. So, so it took a couple of pulls um, to start. And if you pry, if it's too rich, then if you prime it at all, you have to pull it a whole bunch of times before it starts. That's a sign that it's too rich on the low needle. You need to lean it. Also, you can see how it's idling pretty rough. See how it's shaking and it's doing that claw, 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 claw. That's too rich on the low needle. If I flip the throttle, this is what it sounds like. So with it too rich, when you blip the throttle, the motor is very crisp, very sharp. As soon as you blip it, the motor spikes in RPM. It, boom, boom, it's real snappy because it's getting a lot of fuel. So as soon as you give it more air, the motor is quick to respond. That's too rich on the low needle. And you also saw that the motor uh, runs pretty rough at idle. So now I'm going to lean it out and I'll show you what it looks like if it's too lean. All right, I adjusted the needle. When it's too lean, you have to prime it a good amount of fuel to get the motor to start. If you don't prime it and you just pull and pull and pull and it'll never start, it's probably too lean on the low needle. I just leaned it out, we'll see how it starts. The motor is also already warm, by the way. started much better. You hear the RPMs increasing. So I haven't touched the throttle yet. But you can see it's it's idling much better towards the leaner side. RPMs increasing. 
Watch, I'm gonna flip the throttle. RPMs decrease. Now wait. And the RPMs are slowly increasing. So, when it's too lean on the needle, that was actually pretty close to ideal. That's kind of where I like it. But when it's too lean on the low needle, you blip the throttle and the RPMs come down. And then if you wait a second, the motor starts to lean out and the RPMs increase. It's just a little bit, maybe 100, 200 RPM faster um, because it's kind of lean. If, and if it idles for too long, then sometimes it'll die. Um, also, when you if the motor is cold and you you crank you prime it and then you crank it and then it's like once the the motor burns off the fuel that you primed that uh, that fuel burns off then your motor will die and you have to like reprime it and start it again. That means you're too lean on the low needle. You need to turn the low needle counterclockwise just a hair. I mean, like five minutes on a clock is the the size of the adjustment that you need to make in order to uh, richen the low needle and um, you just got to play with it don't be scared to tune it and just keep an idea of where it was before you started and then uh, go from there if you've turned a quarter turn you've gone too far you've gone way too far and your motor may not even start or may not run at all so go back to where it was and just turn it five minutes left or five minutes right that's all you need and uh, get your motor to run better it starts much easier that way uh, it doesn't die on you in flight when you do wing overs, things like that. So, pro tip of the day. Um, hope you guys learned something. Something else I forgot to add is that uh, if you change your oil ratio, your fuel to oil ratio, then that will affect your low needle tuning. So, if you've been running 50 to 1 and then you switch to 60 to 1 or vice versa, you may have to adjust that low needle to get your motor to start and idle correctly. Um, same thing goes for if you change oil types, like if you're using Motul 800 and you go to 710, you may have to turn that needle just a hair to get it to idle the way that it was before. Um, hope that helps you guys tune your motors and uh, helps you with any issues you might be having.